out of the launch, or, well, I guess it's driven out of the launch block. All right, that's great news, and you can go ahead and stow your PGT, and then you can start working the uh, RETs and adjustables. Roger. I already have the um, RET stage for the tent and clamshell. I'm going to work NZGL caps, and then I will stage the Medusa tether for um, the shirt and scarf. That sounds good. You're hearing the voice of NASA astronaut Kayla Barron as she communicates to our ground IV, Drew Morgan, about some tasks at the ELC-3 that will help prep the spare SASA to be moved. And Tom, just checking back in with you, and uh, we're just looking for, when you tell us that uh, your green hook is locked, I can talk you through the other steps, or you can continue to work ahead. I am... Um the green hook locked currently. Okay, copy. My green hook, my green hook is locked. Okay, I understand that your green hook is locked on your red. That's affirmed. Green hook is locked on your red reel, so now you can attach your yellow hook to the arm lee forward stanchion, and then give us those checks. Yellow hook. That's a work. As NASA astronaut Kayla Barron preps the spare SASA, you just heard ground IV Drew Morgan checking in with NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn as he configures the robotic arm. Looks great, Kayla. My yellow hook is closed and locked on the forward part of the in the sector in rail. Going for my green, I'm going to ret to it first. Sounds good, just let us know where you put it. Copy. We're starting to get some Earth views down below. The space station is currently passing over the western coast of Mali. My green hook is at 8790. We copy, Tom. Andrew, I'm complete with staging the MOI tether. And if you agree, I'm going to start working on removing the tent and clamshell. We'll go with that. NASA astronaut Kayla Barron working to remove some covers. Yep, you've got the calm, Tom. Meanwhile, Tom Marshburn is getting ready to go on the robotic arm. You are, and the calm is yours. All right. Yes, Roger, ready for the GCA to publish for the APFR ingress. And copy, Tom, are you ready for maneuver to GCA to publish APFR ingress position? Good copy.
and this movement's going to be about a half meter zenith. And if you could just keep an eye on that ingrace aid for us, Tom, we can't quite see it in the camera. So just the T handle looked like it was kind of close to a handrail. As we move zenith, just let us know if it's too close. I can move it a little bit, stand by one. I'm going to move it a little bit away from it. Okay, that's complete, and it's out of the way. Great, right, thanks. Well, I'll let you know when the motion starts. Copy. Tom Marshburn now switching his tethers over to attach himself to the robotic arm. Soon he'll get into the foot restraint where Matthias Maurer can take him to the work site. Both astronauts will meet at the Port 1 Trust to remove the degraded SASA. Hey, that's the published position. How's that look? Looks good. GCA. GCA complete. It's are on. Congrats. Okay, Tom, you can attach your waist tether and ingress uh, to the ingress aid or on the ingress aid itself uh, or at the tether point, your choice, and then uh, go ahead and ingress the APFR. Astronaut Tom Mershburn is, is visible on screen. You can tell it's him because of the red stripes on his spacesuit. You can see that his feet are flying free, but they'll soon be attached to the robotic arm. Okay. And for Tom, I'm ingressed. I'm ready for the maneuver. Okay, Tom, we would just have you check your tools and tethers are clear. Ingress aid is pulled in close to you. Tools and tethers are clear. Ingress aid is in close. Okay, then you can work with Raja and Matthias and go to the move it to the gimbal back off position. Yes, Raja, ready for the maneuver. For maneuver to gimbal back off position, brakes are coming off. All right, this will be about a two meter forward move. Uh, we'll let you know when motion starts. Copy. Starting motion. Take good motion. Tom, while you're in motion, we'll take a glove and a half. North. Meter to go. Copy. Gloves are pristine. Up is dry. We copy, Tom. Inside your ears. 
Yeah, we're setting up a show cast for you, Todd. Copy. How's the trail going, Kayla? I did. I got the clam shell removed, and it tended back towards the high-pressure gas tank, as we hoped. Okay. And I am working on tents as we speak. Nice work. Tom, here comes the Joe Cast. It's going to be uh, mostly Zenith and some aft motion. It's going to take about two minutes. Got Start in motion. Very good motion. NASA astronaut Kayla Barron reporting that she's wrapping up her tasks um, at the first stop of the ELC-3 today, where the spare SASA lives. She's removed some multi-layer insulation. And she's also driven a stanchion mounting belt out of the launch position. Is wrapping out. Looks like we'll need some starboard. We're setting up some cameras and they'll be ready to maneuver you to the GCA to publish gimbal position. Okay. Now I'm ready for the maneuver to GCA. We copy your uh, ready, Tom, and with that, we'll go ahead and start GCA to publish gimbal position. It's going to be about starboard about a meter and then aft about a meter and a half. Okay, uh, start GCA, and let's start with what you just said. All right, starting motion. Okay, good motion. And stop motion. Okay, that's the end of your starboard motion. And here comes about uh, aft, about a meter and a half. I copy that. Let's see if I can work with this here. And um, I do need starboard about another 10 centimeters. We're in a brief but expected handover period between satellites. We expect to get our live views of our spacewalking astronauts back soon. That motion. Okay, that motion stopped. And in GCA. Copy, GCA complete. And brakes are up. Copy. Working the uh, gimbal lock bolts. Okay, we're with you, Tom. Let us know how it looks to you. Uh, those, you can adjust the gimbal as you need to to get those bolts locked uh, into their or rotated into their locked position. And once they're engaged, 
we want you to push inward on the base of the antenna to ensure that that's, the septum is seated against those spacer blocks. Uh, we do have a caution here for you that we don't want you to use more than 7.7 .7 pounds of force because that can actually dislodge them, to take the, let the bolts rotate out of position. Okay. Just so you know, they are not easily coming out of the, uh, over that lip on the ramp. I don't want to put too much force on them. And Tom, does it look like you have pretty good access to all four from this position? It does. I'll try to move it around. I didn't get any motion on any of them to start with. I'm going to try to move the septum a little bit. Okay, with one, we're jiggling the septum. There's three out of the third position. And Drew, I have the uh, clamshell and tent tethered down and tucked in, I think, sufficiently for it to allow me to translate across. I'm um, just want, wondering if you think I should start working the ERAD for the launch bolt. Yeah, Kayla, we think that's the next best step. So we'll work towards uh, getting your ERAD on, give us those checks, and then we'll start working those bolts. Your work. Kayla Barron reporting out that she has finished removing some layers of insulation from the spare SASA. This is after she drove the stanchion mount bolt out of its launch position. And now that she's working ahead of schedule, she's doing some tasks that was planned for the next time she was supposed to be here at this workstation. Just doing a little bit of tasks to get ahead. Sun's going down if you guys want to adjust those visors. We drew up that all four out of the unlock. Copy that, Tom. That means I'm going to need uh, I'm going to need a little more GCA. Go one side than the other. That sounds good. You can. Yep, I'm good. Work with the uh, work with the team up there with Matthias and Raja, and we'll give the comm over to you. And it sounds like Kayla's good to go while she's getting her ERAD set up. And Drew, I'll start working on bolt one, which is my right shoulder. So I'll bolt side down, then I'll switch over to two, three, and then four. We're getting them in the locked position, but not working them yet. Copy. You're just engaging them, but not you're not actually and doing uh, the drive yet. Matthias Roger, ready for uh, GCA? We are ready. Uh, where do you want to go? Uh, 20 centimeters starboard, and y'all left. 20 centimeters starboard, and then y'all left. We'll do the starboard, starboard first, and then uh, y'all get from there. It breaks her off. Okay. And confirm station starboard. Starboard, that's affirmed.
Any motion? Good motion. Without motion. Nothing motion. I'm going to ask for a little uh, station aft about 10 centimeters. I've got my ingress aid. I've got a good clearance for high gain. Copy, station aft, 10 centimeters. Good copy. I see good motion. Good motion. Okay, there's your 10 centimeters. And uh, now the yaw left, body yaw left, 30, 30 degrees. Got the yaw left, 30 degrees. Motion. Okay, stop motion. We've got a hand over coming over. Stopping motion, that's about five degrees. And uh, one more uh, station, Venus. 20 centimeters. 20 centimeters zenith. Good copy. Good motion. Stop motion. Good motion. And NGCA. NGCA complete. Copy. And wait for breaks on. Nice round. Copy. Andrew, I have the Thread on my PGT with a good pull test. The wobble is now on the socket caddy, also a good pull test, and I am getting in position for the launch bolt. Copy, Kayla, and, and uh, I we got a hand over, Kayla. Can I go ahead? Yeah, we're about 30 seconds to hand over, so Kayla, we're going to have you do a glove and hap check, and we'll catch you on the other side of the handover. We'll stand by. And Matthias and uh, Roger, I'm ready for a GCA back to the original position and then to the other side. Okay, so we'll undo what we did. That's going to be taking you about 20 centimeters later. We'll take out the yaw and then take you back to port. That's good copy. Kayla Barron now reporting out that she's done some tasks ahead of time with the extra time that she's had. Um, originally, she was supposed to prep the spare Sasa, head over to the P1 truss with Tom Marshburn, and then they would both go back to the spare together and work to loosen some bolts. However, since Barron is already at the spare Sasa, she decided to do some tasks ahead of time. And, uh, I mean, just for the nader part. So I'll take uh, motion to yaw and the uh, port. I can work on the other side. Okay, copy. Sorry about that. Brakes are coming back off. Here comes the yaw. Motion. Okay, the yaw is back out. Here comes uh, 10 centimeters station forward. Stop motion. Stopping motion there. And then you're ready for your 20 centimeters port? Ready for the port. Starting your port motion. Motion. And motion stops. How's that look? Working out clear. I'll take uh, station aft again. Give me another 10 centimeters there. Okay, another 10 centimeters station aft. Moving. Good copy. Good motion. Stop motion. Hey, stop motion. Waiting for brakes on. Brakes are on. Confirm GCA complete. GCA complete. Andrew, are you back with us? Yeah, Kayla, we're back. We just were waiting for the GCA complete. I have PGT settings for you when you're ready. I already have a Bravo 4 counterclockwise 2 set, and I'm in position to drive on your go. Okay, we're go for that. You're on the low gain antenna side, the side that we were expecting. 11 to 19 turns on the PGT, if you're counting at the PGT. 
And just let us know whether you're working the Ford or the app. 11 to 19 with the PTT. And I'll start with the Ford. Copy. Drew, I'm waking up my uh, PGT. It looks like all bolts are in place. Ready to be torqued. Okay, Tom, your settings are Alpha 5 clockwise 2. Alpha 5 clockwise 2. Baron reporting out that she's ready to work on the release of two launch bolts connected to the spare SASA. You can see her now working with the pistol grip tool. For SA, I'm just going to put down my end effector to keep me a little closer to structure here and then try. Bolts. Sounds like a great plan. The pistol grip tool, or PGT, is basically a cordless drill. Andrew, I'm ready for the settings again, please. Alpha 5, clockwise 2, you're driving, and it'll only be three turns. Alpha 5, clockwise 2. All right, that's a good read back, and we're going to do these in order 1, 2, 3, 4, so we're starting at the bolt on your right side towards your head. Three turns will take torque turns and light. Copy, you understand. Marshburn is working to install gimbal locks that give the spacewalkers a little more control of the degraded unit in its move from P1 and over to the express logistics carrier number three. It just means that uh, the communications antenna won't make any sudden unpredicted moves. Drew, I'm at 19 turns. I want to confirm whether you expect it to spring out when released. Kayla, yes, we are expecting that it would spring out. I don't think it has yet. Do you have a go to put a few more turns on it? Yeah, Kayla, you can go ahead and keep driving. Roger. Drew, I got 2.5 turns. The torque, green light on bolt number one. For bolt number two. Copy that, Tom, on bolt number one, and then you're moving over to bolt two. Left shoulder. Copy. And Drew, the forward bolt has sprung out. That was 25 turns total, starting with the aft. Good words, and uh, understand you're moving over to the aft. Drew, I got uh, 2.1 turns, 2.2 turns. And torque to two decimal three. One for the left knee, bolt three. And Tom, it happened on the bolt number one. We didn't hear the torque on that, but we did hear that uh, your turns in green light on bolt number one, the first one you did. It was 2.5. It was to a program. Copy that, 2.5. Stand by, Tom. Any back? Tom, we're going to have you double check PGT settings and just read back what you see. Uh, I see. It was at an Alpha 1. Thought I had an Alpha 2. Over to Alpha 2. Starting back with Bolt 1. Tom, we're Through expecting Alpha, Alpha 5. Bolt. Alpha 5 Alpha for you, Tom. Five. I missed that. Happy thanks, Alpha 5. 
Tom Marshburn now getting his pistol grip tool configured to drive four total gimbal locks. Again, this helps control the motion of the faulty assassin unit. That one took 23 turns, two, three. And wondering if you think I should work a socket swap and head back to Tom or head to view the launch bolts on the other side. Copy, Kayla. We're checking. Uh, one thing that we needed to go back on is, and during the handover, we missed your happen glove. Just confirm that those were both good. We assume they were. Yep. Hap is dry. Glove check is good. Okay, Kayla, and just give us a moment here. We're talking next steps for you. Roger. And drill got 3.1 and 6.8 on the torque. Green light for bolt one. Copy that, Tom. We got 6.8 that time in a green line, bolt one, and so we'll be on to bolt two. That's a good bolt on bolt one. On to bolt two. Tom Marshburn confirms that he's finished driving the first of four gimbal lock bolts. And Kayla, for you, we'll just have you go ahead and remove the ERAD from your, go back to your socket swap, go back to your original socket setup, and then we're going to have you head over to see Tom. When you come off of ELC, we do want to make sure that we get a check of your safer handles. Okay, that's all in work. Guru, I've got his, uh, green light 6.8 and one turn on bolt two. Copy that, Tom. Marsh Burn confirms that he has the second of four gimbal lock bolts driven. Meanwhile, Kayla Barron worked with Ground IV Drew Morgan to get her tools configured, and she'll start making her way over to the P1 truss with Tom Marshburn shortly. Bolting down, I got two more bolts to go. Roger, and I'm just working on my socket swap, and then I'll head back your way. Copy. He rides on the socket caddy with a good pull test, working the wobble. Drew. Green light, seven and 1.2 turns, full three. Copy that, Tom, copy Kayla. Get on both four. We're good on bolt three, so we're ready for four, right side towards your boot. Okay. And that bolt is not all the way in the slot. It's stuck about halfway. Been working uh, working that one. I'm going to go and torque it down halfway there if you're all right with that. Checking. Fixed. Doesn't, doesn't come out easily. Doesn't come out at all. And all of a sudden now it's not going in. I think it... Uh, dock its way out a little bit with the other bolts. So I can see a slight gap in the slot between the bolt head and the septum, but still wedged in the slot. Copy, checking. Tom, we're going to hold there for a moment and just talk about this and decide whether we're going to uh, try to drive this one down at all. And guys, the last we checked, we were about 20 minutes ahead of the timeline, and our limiting uh, consumable at that point was Medox, 640 EVA. Roger. And uh, Drew, I got the wobble socket back on my PGT with a good pull test. Both of my safer handles are down, and I'm going to start heading back towards Tom. Sounds great, Kayla. Thanks for time. We're talking about this last bolt a little bit. Yeah, Kayla, absolutely great that we are doing very well on time right now.
Tom, we wanted to have you check with bolt four if you were able to back that bolt off by hand one turn. Give it a try. Oh, the bolt held itself. Affirmative. Didn't work. No, uh, it is. The log is just slipping over it. I got a little bit of motion out of it there. There's still no PGT and play with it here. If you're just joining us, we're just over one hour into the planned six and a half hour spacewalk with NASA astronauts Kayla Barron and Tom Marshburn. Marshburn sent the first, spent the first portion of the hour configuring the robotic arm that he took to the P-1 work site where the degraded SASA lives. Meanwhile, Kayla Barron worked at the Express Logistics Carrier Number 3 to do some prep work on the spare SASA. She worked diligently and got some tasks done ahead of time. Marshburn is in the in process of installing four gimbal locks to reduce the motion of the degraded SASA. Signaling motion of the bolt itself builds the uh, sort of halfway point, half engaged. The uh, the nut below the bolt head is uh, does freely. We copy Tom. We're still talking about it a little bit. A little bit. Uh, jiggle, the septum really doesn't jiggle anymore with the other bolts engaged. I believe when I was working bolts two and three, if bolt four walked out just a half of bolt head width diameter. Yeah, we copy, Tom. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have you reset your PGT to Alpha 1, clockwise 2, Alpha 1, clockwise 2, lower setting, and then we're going to have you drive on that. Alpha is taken, setting. You said Alpha 2? Alpha 1, clockwise 2. Alpha 1. Alpha 1, clockwise 2. I am passing the UHF antenna. Copy, Kayla. Clockwise, clockwise 2. All right, 2.5 on the torque green light and two and a half turns, 2.3 turns. Okay, Tom, with that, we're calling those four good gimbal bolts. You can stow your PGT, and then you can work with the arm to maneuver to the P1 retrieval back off position. And uh, before we do that, I just wanted to let Kayla know that once you get there, Kayla, you can start to work those electrical connectors P2, P3, and P4, and give us the uh, words on the back side. Roger, that can work now. Go ahead, Tom, with the com. All right, thanks. And the PS and Raj are ready for the uh, maneuver to the back off position. My tools and feathers are clear. Copy, brakes are off, and copy, you're ready for the maneuver to the P1 retrieval back off position. Uh, it's going to be mostly ISS forward and port motion, and we'll also take out a little bit of what we did on some of that GCA. I'll let you know when we're ready to start. Copy, that's a good copy for me. Marshburn reported out that all four gimbal locks have been installed to reduce the motion of the degraded SASA as they both work to move it to the ELC-3 shortly. Barron is still making her way over to the P-1 site to help Marshburn remove the degraded SASA, and Marshburn is working with the crew aboard the space station to get into the right configuration to do this. Starting uh, ISS forward motion, about a meter and a half. Copy. 
Be good motion. All right, here comes uh, port motion. Be good motion. Ten centimeters. Here comes a little bit of nader motion. Motion. Okay, that's the uh, position that we're going to set up for a joint OCAS. Take us a little bit, and it'll be about a four and a half minute move. Okay, Tom, before we do that Are next maneuver. That. Go ahead, Caleb. Thank you. Um, all of the, all three of the NCGLs are demated, levers full aft over center, and for all three, uh, no FOD, no butt pins, and good EMI bands. I'm assessing now whether I need to wire tie or adjustable them out of the way. Copy that, Kayla. It sounds like those are good checks. And then once you assess whether or not you need to wire tie, then we'll have you move towards the BRT handrail 3618. And Tom, for you, before we do this next maneuver, we got a little checklist of things we wanted to run through with you when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, Tom, we're going to have you check your tools and tethers are clear and your ingress aid is stowed, pulled close to your body. Probably keep your visor up because it's going to be nighttime for a couple more minutes and then check your glove heaters. Okay, good call. The glove heaters, my tools and tethers are clear and the ingress aid is pulled towards me. The visor is in a good position. Okay, set your cooling if you need to, and then verify your heels are secured. Think heels out this entire time. And then a glove and hat front for us. Hat is dry. And gloves are still pristine. Happy on the cooling, I'm good. Fun bit of history here. Back in 2007, Expedition 16 astronaut Rick, Mustac Mus Rick Mustracchio and Clay Anderson relocated the S-band antenna subassembly from P6 to P1, where the astronauts are working now. Tom, it's been mostly taking you aft and then seen it. Big in motion. Back in 2007, Mastracchio and Anderson reported having the same difficulty that Tom Marshburn had with that with that fourth bolt. Hey, Kayla, while the arm is flying, this we can give you feedback. Yeah. Um, Drew, I've got Bravo 7 counterclockwise two set. I think if I understood the procedure correctly, I can break torque uh, now and then stand by for Tom's go to continue. Yeah, Kayla, those are good settings, and you have a go to break torque, one turn only. Okay, break 
You can hear now that the astronauts Tom Marshburn and Kayla Barron will be working together on this step. Marshburn will tether the SASA before it's set completely free with the release of the stanchion bolt that Barron is removing. This is the one that attaches the antenna unit to the P-1 truss structure. The view you see here live on your screen is Kayla Barron retrieving her pistol grip tool and configuring it to break torque on that stanchion bolt that attaches the degraded SASA to the space station. I believe torque is broken one turn. I just want to confirm I was fully seated on the bolt. It's a little hard to tell because it's in the I'm stanchion out pretty deep there. Checking the PGT steps. Yep, and torque is broken, Drew. Copy that, and Kayla. I was on it originally. Yeah, Kayla, if you had experienced any running torque by. at all, we uh, we expected that you broke torque if you're experiencing some running torque. And I'm just standing by for Tom still to continue turning. Copy that. Wrapping up. All right, Joe Gaps is complete, and we are ready for maneuver to GCA to publish P1 retrieval position. And now I'm also ready for the maneuver to publish. Can you give us just a second to set up the maneuver, and we'll let you know when motion starts. Copy.